Rocking Models. Today we're going to do a review of our brand new kit. Well, new kit to Pestilus Labs that is, but also coming upon the scene which has been long awaited. Formerly produced by Typhon Studios and Mike Calvert, now the rights have gone to Mark Worthling at Pestilus Labs and it's a beauty. It is an absolute beauty. Are you ready? Are you ready? The Body Snatcher, sculpted by Jeff Yeager. And as you can see, one big piece of resin. Look at this bad boy. Let's move him up. Isn't that just something? Just beautifully, beautifully uh, cast it, uh, molding, everything. Uh, bravo to um, good old Bradley or at Worley Enterprises. We're going to put that here and kind of we'll take a kind of look at each piece here in a moment. But let's look at the extras. Bravo Mark, he has entered the uh, box art. And look at that. That's just a beautiful box art. Of course, paint up by uh, Mr. Saul Alvarez, which you can't uh, beat that man's work. And it's just uh, nicely done with a nice background. And on there we have uh, Pestilus Labs production, sculpted by Jeff Yeager, painted prototype by Saul Alvarez. Box art by Rick Lindy. You may all know Rick. Uh, he does some beautiful work in uh, oils. He does a lot of different paint ups and he does a great job. Then you get, in the old Typhon Studios tradition, you get this nice uh, black envelope. And as you can see on there, uh, it says, To Teddy from John. So let's open this bad boy up. See what we get. Ooh, we get the limited edition baseball team mascot. Look at that. The body snatcher. We got the back, which is a little bit of info on the snatcher. You get a Pestilus Lab card with the uh, Hunchback uh, box art tribute. You get the Certificate of Authenticity, the Friar's Trust. Look at that. It's got the gold stamp on it. Isn't that just beautiful? Well done. Well done, Mark and Mike. Look at that. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Oh, look at that. You got a little postcard for the refrigerator. Look at that of the body snatcher. Nice. Then of course you get uh, some build notes on this. And a uh, nice little addition. Bravo Mark. And that's all the that's all the goodies. So out of the kit. Are you ready? Let's go. I'll pop this off. You get uh, of course the head the Body Snatcher, portrayed by Mr. Boris Karloff. Very beautiful castings, nice and clean, very minimal cleanup. I love the hat, love the hat. This is a big kit. You get this, the body of the Snatcher. You can see that one there. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Got the plug and play on the bottom. You've got the base. Look at that. You got uh, the Reaper right in the center. You can kind of go around. See a nice uh, cobblestone base. So much you can do with that. Look at that. Nice and hollow, but I'm telling you, there's weight to this. You've got uh, the Snatcher's arm. Again, beautiful, beautiful castings. Bravo, uh, Mark. You can see the bottom part of the shovel. So that segues into the shovel. Here's the rest of it. This is along with the end of the shovel where he had to do his digging to hold up to his name, the Body Snatcher. So you'll have all this together, just beautifully, beautifully casted.
Beautiful. Bravo. Interesting note on this. The bars here are different than the original. Mark had these uh, 3D sculpted and then uh, printed out. And it's just a more, uh, I don't know, there's just, there's beautiful details in them. It's, you can see here, it's just beautifully done. Bravo, Mark, on uh, going that extra mile and putting out uh, something different and make it yours, you know, and uh, make it a Pestilus Labs release and also accenting the kit, bringing the kit to life. Beautifully done. And again, uh, obviously these modifications were approved by Mr. Yeager. And it's just a nice, nice touch. So as you can see, it's just beautiful. You get the, you get the two uh, little fence pieces. You get the base, the body, the arm, the two pieces for the shovel. Need another hand. And then, of course, the head. And like I said, this is a big quarter scale. I mean, look at this thing. Very nice. Got to go right in your collections of uh, bus, but you'll also have a very unique piece. So that's our little review. I'm telling you, if you uh, are a fan, I know that there was a lot of us that were waiting on this piece when Mike Calvert had it. And um, various various uh, trials that uh, Mr. Calvert went through. Mike, I'm glad you came out on the other side, mate. And uh, blessed that he had entrusted this beautiful piece over to Mark Wortheling at Pestilus Labs. And of course, boom, there it is. And now you can get it. So if you're interested in one of these pieces, I'll put Mark's information in right now. And you can reach out to Mark and say, hey, I just saw the latest uh, review on Talking Models, and i got to have one of these. Mark will say, let me think about it. Okay. And he will send you one right out. So don't miss out on this one. It's just uh, a beautiful piece to add into the garage kit history. Uh, expertly uh, done by Mr. Jeff Yeager. And it's just one that you will want in your collection. If you're a Universal Horror fan, if you're a Boris Karloff fan, if you're a Mark Worthling fan, if you're a Pestilus Labs fan, if you're a Mike Calvert fan, there you go. So that's our review. Now, this is also a good opportunity for you, yeah, you, watching the video, to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Would you bless me and become one of those? And on this, we're going to be just reviewing new kits, just looking at things. We're going to talk models. I know I've been promising an airbrush review, and I'm going to do that. I just, when I got this, I got so excited, and I got another kit from Mark which is going to slide in front of that airbrush review. And that'll be our next episode when we look at his new expanding to the line of Young Frankenstein. Ron Bior will be coming at us soon. So you don't want to miss that one. So that wraps up today's episode. I thank everybody for just your support on this channel, your patience. As I wasn't around for a while, you know, life gets hard sometimes. But you know, as my hat says, God is greater than my highs and lows. So remember, we're all going to go through stuff. We're all going to have junk. We're all going to have trials. We're all going to have tribulations. But Jesus tells us to take heart because he has overcome those. So just be patient, build models, follow the Lord, and watch what he'll do. So again, thanks for stopping in today. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.